Hey, this is Toby, Delta Hotel One Tango Whiskey, and today I have an SDR quick tip for you. Most likely you have already experienced the same problems as I have with the SDR software packages. Since they are running on a computer, you have to control them with the keyboard or the mouse. Controlling them with the keyboard or the mouse is actually a little bit lame. You have to click Either you have to click directly onto the frequency or you have to scroll permanently with the mouse wheel up and down and when you're doing this over a longer period of time it gets pretty exhausting and my fingers they starting to hurt after half an hour or so. So what you can do is either to buy one of these accessoires like the Griffin Powermate or the Shuttle Pro controller or, and this is actually my quick tip, buying a Logitech Nano VX mouse. So let me show you the Logitech Nano VX mouse and what's so great about it. Um, the mouse itself is a little bit smaller than a typical desktop mouse, but even for me with a person who has some big hands, it is um, absolutely convenient and I'm using it daily sometimes up to 10 hours and without any problems. The mouse itself is a wireless mouse. Over there we can see the dongle which is plugged into the computer. If, you, if we are going abroad we can store the dongle inside the mouse. The mouse is powered by two AAA batteries and here we can see the sensor. It's actually a surface independent sensor which means that you can use it even on a, on a glass table. So the mouse comes with a few buttons. Here on the left we have two. We have one in the center. We have a left click button, the right click button of course, and we have the scrolling wheel. So far nothing very spectacular. The scrolling wheel, um, if I turn it, you will hear the, the sound, which we're, we're probably very used to. So it is really uh, step, 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 step. But however, if you press the button, if you press the scrolling wheel, it enables a flywheel. And this becomes very handy in the SDR application because you just throw the wheel, you touch it, and then it goes, and you have to touch it again in order to stop it. I will show you in a second how this looks in the SDR application. So this is the Logitech VX Nano Mouse in action. What you can see here is Power SDR, Flex Radio's Power SDR software tuned somewhere on 20 meters. And if we want to change the frequency, what we can do is either click directly on a frequency on the band or we can use the scrolling wheel. This as the familiar sound. The disadvantage we have here is that we just have a limited amount of steps what we can tune by touching just once the mouse. If we click now the wheel it transforms into a flywheel and if I tune it again it just goes on. I touch it again. If I want to go to the other end of the red, oh, stop. Let's see who was that. Nope, doesn't come back. So let's go to the other end of the band. Alright, again, down. I touch it, touch it again to stop it. Fine tuning. So that's basically the tip. Um, the mouse itself, of course, doesn't replace a tuning wheel from your transceiver, but somehow it's at least better than the desktop mouse and it makes life a little bit easier. You might even use the mouse outside of the SDR software it becomes very handy while going through big documents big pdf documents or if you're writing software if you want to scroll up 
in a big code library um, you can do this pretty pretty easily so that was the SDR quick tip I hope you liked it um, I say 73 enjoy SDR